Hello, everybody, and welcome. Thank you so much for taking the time to join me again today. Look, I'm back in my studio. I'm so excited. Everything is back in place, and I feel like I'm back in my own element. It's my first time, like, completely back in full. So it's so nice to be in that familiar, right? So let me know that you're here as you jump on. I'd love to see you in the comments. Let me know that you've joined uh, and tell me where you're from. And also it is teacher appreciation week. So let's talk about what is going on for teacher appreciation. What are you doing? Um, again, my name is Evelyn Knight. Hopefully you were here with me earlier for my mindset Monday, where we talked about really just changing the trajectory of your thoughts, which can actually change the trajectory of your life. I am living proof of that, right? So before we get really deep into that, I'm going to announce our Amazon gift card winner. So last week, if you were turning in the word of the day and that created the phrase at the end, you were entered into a drawing to win a $50 Amazon gift card. Even if you don't win, everybody who turned in the phrase, and we're still giving everybody time. So if you haven't turned in your phrase yet, if you haven't gotten a chance before tomorrow night at uh, 9 p.m. Pacific time, midnight Eastern time, get through those videos, turn in the phrase, and you will get my PDF version of what I post for a, a job opening. So it's the verbiage I use to really sell us and the way EC should be presented, right? This is really just how we should be showing ECE for what it really is. And, and that's, honestly, this whole week, as I'm thinking about what I'm doing, I really feel like all I've been doing is training you guys on seeing early childhood education the way that you should be seeing it anyway. This is what we're doing, right? So um, the winner is, and I hope I say your last name right, Lindsay Dragel. If one of my team members could put that in the chat, that would be great. I think your concierge is Moira, but Lindsay, you are our winner. So thank you for joining and participating with us in that. So today I wanted to really bring home for you guys, what is this concept of being a category of one? What does it mean to level up your thinking in ECE? right? I'm really trying to get you guys to think like uh, what I talked about all week, there's one foundational piece. And what I talked about this morning, honestly, it's in everything I do. There's a foundational piece that sets me apart. And the reason that I don't have a lot of these issues that a lot of center owners have, right? And it's because I understand that we have to become this category of one, not competition wise, but our industry as a whole, we need an ECE revolution where we are really seeing us for what we're worth, seeing the amazing work we do, right? And I want each one of you to level up and become that leader. Every one of you has it. So I brought, I'm actually going to have a couple of my members on here with me. They're all um, center owners and uh, basically owner directors. They both, they fill the shoes and really to talk about their transformation within my program and how they became in uh, basically that category of one. So I'm going to start bringing them in really quick. That's Tiffany, Carmen, and Shaylin. So they all belong to my mastermind program. They We all work together on basically just becoming that category of one. So when I say that, you guys, what is, if any of you want to jump in, what does that mean to you when I tell you that uh, leveling up to become a category of one? Well, from the very beginning, I'll go first. From the very beginning, when I when we joined in, I think I joined back in June. You talked about your queen bee, and so I've decided what my queen bee was, what my whole vision was surrounded by, and I just started uh, really um, training my teachers to know what that is and to work like every decision they make would be around that queen bee. And uh, we just took it from the bottom and went up. And um, so little by little, we're we're getting better and better. 
Nice. Uh, yes. And I talked about that last week too, right? The queen bee role. We all need that queen bee role. Sometimes we lose sight of it. Two weeks ago, I was with my own business coach that basically had to tell me, Evelyn, bring it back to your queen bee. You're all over the place. You need to focus on the one thing and bring it back to the queen. And so, yeah, it is so vitally important. Tiffany or Carmen, do you guys have anything to add? Um, I joined the program. Um, our theme this year for our entire center is level up. Mm -hmm. And so I came across a couple of the mindset Mondays and things um, shared through Schlin by chance. And there were just some things that resonated that, yes, this is the direction that we're trying to go in and the way it's laid out and the absolute ease to just transition has been such a great benefit. Mm -hmm. Nice. And so one of the things I know, Carmen, the mindset is stuff is really, really important to you. And one of the, I want to really emphasize with Carmen, Carmen's actually in Panama. So she's not even a center that is in the United States. I know Carmen has some huge, unique struggles because in, um, they don't have things like the NEYC there. They don't have the infrastructure we have here. So she has had some huge struggles that, in the United States, we like if we look at what we're dealing with, it's a piece of cake sometimes compared to what Carmen has dealt with. So, Carmen, how has it helped you really just transform? Um, I know the mindset has been huge for you. So, tell us about that. Yeah, well, the the mindset has been amazing because for me, uh, we always we've always felt here like we're all islands because we don't have a group. We never used to talk to each other. We all saw each other like competition. We don't have that many centers in Panama anyways, but that's how we feel. And working with Evelyn has made me feel that that, that I can work with the other centers. We can all cooperate. We talk about all these things, not just with the ones that are in the U.S. We made a group here in Panama and we always try to get together and do things better. So that mindset has helped me so much to try to go forward and move in, like move our industry here in Panama and just make it better. And not just my center be category of one, but try to make all the centers in our country that category of one. We've been meeting with the government, with all the the different agencies that regulate us. And this has helped me so much because it's given me a different perspective on what you guys are doing and what we can do here just to make everything better. So for me, it's been amazing. I just love, love being in this group and, and getting all that feedback from each of the owners and obviously from Evelyn and her team has been so, so great. So that's something I really want to point out this morning, I was talking about one person can make a difference, right? We all kind of sit in our own little islands and we think I'm just one person, right? I, what can I really do? But Carmen is taking on her national government now, literally stepping up where there is no ECE, basically infrastructure. And she is stepping up and really leaning into that role. But it takes the mindset work, which is why I really focus so much on not just the business, but the mindset. Right. It's like that's why the psychology behind all of this is so important to me. And yes, Mandy just put in the comments, this is a true ECE revolution. And it is because not only are we trying to change the course of ECE for the United States, but it's trickling into other nations that don't even have that established infrastructure. So do you ladies have anything to add to that? I love that she said that it felt like islands and that they learned that there's no competition because in our area, we have a group, we work together, um, we utilize each other as resources and it is the best um, resource that you have is other directors that are in your shoes. Um, and so while we've already been doing a lot of these meetings and things like that for years now, it's just with you, Evelyn, it's been a whole different level of it. Mm -hmm. Um, but yes, we're all in it for the same goals. We're all in it for the children. And so if we can all be one unit and just strive to make ECE a better, um, place for all of the children, then that's the end goal. Mm -hmm. Yes. Collaboration over competition. That's yes. where it's at. When we collaborate and stop looking at other centers as a competition, 
we can really help build them up, build ourselves up, build our industry up. And honestly, I told you guys all week long, only 30% of children in the ages from zero to five are in childcare. There's more than enough children out there for all of us. But when we educate, when we really work together to educate our communities, then we're going to get more of those children enrolled. So collaboration over competition will just make us more successful. And it's going to take all of us to make a revolution. It, it is. It is. But we can do it together. Right. And that's yes. my, my goal. I mean, yes. we can change the course of our industry. I know, Shaylin, when I first met you, I was just so impressed with how you've brought your community together. I mean, uh, your competition, like you were actually referring your competition to me to bring in. Um, at one point, I had a couple owners that were trying to get into me first before their competition could get in because they didn't want me work. And I was like, wait a second, why are you guys? So I basically wouldn't work with either one of them because they couldn't get over the fact. That, so I rejected both of them because they were trying to beat each other in. I'm like, no, 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 no. We work together, not against each other. And Shailen, you create something that is just beautiful in your community, which proves that you can have that collaboration over competition. Yes. Are you talking about my sisterhood on family yes. on Facebook? Yes. Um, yeah, that's where we go. That's what Tiffany was talking about. Um, Tiffany and I have a great relationship and um, that's where we go is our sisterhood on Facebook. It's a closed group and we're able to share and vent and, you know, how are you taking care of this? Let's, you know, see what we could do about this. And like Tiffany said, we all should have the same goal, the, the children. And that's, that's where the mindset should be is the children. Yeah. So, yeah, absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about what you guys get out of the program as well. Uh, like let's, I know office hours are my favorite time of the week when we can get together and just discuss things. Uh, how has that impacted your journey through being ECE leaders? Well, I'll start off, I'll jump right in. Uh, this is my 30th year in childcare. <laughs> And I'm always love. I love to learn. But back in June, when I started the membership, I'm like, OK, we're going to we're going to see, you know, here's another membership. Um, I have tons of trainings sitting in my file cabinet. And because I'm just a student, I just did it and put it in my file cabinet um, with your trainings. When we go through Evelyn's trainings, when we go through your trainings, we implement it and you hold us accountable to implement as we are going through the training. And that has made such a big difference. It's not just ended up in my file cabinet. Mm -hmm. uh, back in June before the membership, I lived here. I was married to my center and I was not gonna delegate. I could not do that. Nobody's better than me, uh, but my mindset changed. And I think I started with the um, organizational chart was the first time I saw you. And I started working on that and then time management and going from 40 to 50 hours a week and bringing home work. I'm now here maybe 10 hours a week at the school and I've delegated and I've been able to train and step out. And so I'm enjoying grandbabies and family and it's running smoothly. They all have bought into my queen bee though. They all yeah. of them know my vision and they've, they've really leveled up. That's our word for the year too. Also Tiffany's level up. And we just That's a great work. Great minds think alike. Yes, yes, they do. For me, it's been very important to do the time management part. Like mm -hmm. you're saying, just to add on, it's it's now I can understand the importance of time. So when we actually do go to the office hours, it's like I know that I need to get my work done before I go there so that I can have questions because I just don't want to sit there and I mean it's nice to listen to everybody but like I want to ask my questions too so I know that I have to do my work so mm -hmm. it before I wasn't going to the office hours but now that I'm going it's just I feel like fired up like I, I need to get this done before next week so that I can ask my questions and and see what everybody's thinking so mm -hmm. I, I love office hours too because it's it's amazing that I can actually work and get everything done because I'm excited to do it. Before I was just like, oh, I don't have the time. I don't want to. And and now I'm more focused. <laughs> and, and for me, I think office hours, and one of the reasons I really, really wanted to do it, well, there's a couple things, uh, but the, one of the main, main reasons is I, I was talking to you guys individually 
but so many of our struggles are the same, right? And I'm going through it in my center. I know Tiffany, we just worked on something together that I've been through something similar. And so I just kind of started realizing like, okay, we all go through the same thing. Let's get in a room together because then we feel like we're not so alone, right? We feel like it's like, okay, I'm not the only one dealing with this. And then there's all of us who like, Sheila, you might've dealt with something, someone else, and we all put our input in. And then we've got like this think tank of people who make us feel like we're not alone and we're collaborating on these great ideas of things. That's one of the things I know I love about office hours. The other thing I wanted is to all make sure that I'm accessible. I wanted to be sure that you guys have access to me on a regular basis. So, you know, I'm there twice a week. You guys know what time I'm there. You know how to get a hold of me just to be there. And there are times where I have to hop on one on one. I know like uh, Tiffany, your your situation was a big one. So we did hop on a call together, just the two of us. But for the most part, most of the things can be dealt with during office hours. And it makes it just really ensures that I'm there for you guys, which was very which a lot of other coaching programs don't do. You don't have access to the, you know, um, like the main person, the face of the company. So it was something that was important to me. I want to touch on for office hours. Well, I haven't had a lot of things to bring to the table um, currently. I am, like Shlynn said, a student by nature. And so I just want to take all the information in. And so I'm a big note taker. And when I started and some of the first um, meetings and stuff, it didn't apply at the time. Mm -hmm. But now we're in a different season. We've moved things along and we're in a different season. And so now different things are applying. It's already been discussed in different office hours that we hadn't been through and that we didn't have to necessarily go through and then try to figure out after the fact, we were able to go to the notes and kind of use that from the previous meetings and stuff. So even things that aren't necessarily working through at the moment, but you may come across in the future, yeah. you already have some insight on how someone else dealt with it and some advice on how to deal with it. And so I think that's just as beneficial. Right. I agree. And I think that's part of the reason I do the strategic planning with you guys every year. Uh, I think that like you, I think all three of you, um, I'm not sure, Carmen, were you on strategic planning too, Carmen? Yes. Um, with the strategic planning, it's really nice because I'm, pretty much trying to look at, okay, what are the problems that we deal with every year? It's the same thing, right? It's always every year. It's the same thing. We forget at the time, but that's why like at the beginning of the year, we come up with, okay, we are going to create our strategic plan for the year. Let's get these calendars. Let's put out, let's stop the fires before they start. Let's get all of this. And, you know, and I think that's where we all picked our, what is our theme this year, right? Which is our word of the year. Same thing. Um, and I think that's where like, uh, I'm and, and ironically because my word of the year or my theme of the year is leveling up as well. So <laughs> I know we discussed it during the strategic planning, but that's part of the reason why as well, because I know a, a lot of us and you'll see like, as you're in more officers, we go through the same things and they tend to happen during the same season of the year, right? Summer's coming. We all people go on vacation, the same theme of teachers needing to take time off. It's going to happen every year. So why, instead of waiting for it to happen, then dealing with the problem, why not have a solution before the problem ever happens? Right. And that is one of my big goals for you guys always is to make sure that we're being proactive instead of reactive. That's why they do controlled burns, right? To stop those huge, huge uh, fires from happening. So, um, Tiffany, tell us your journey, like when you started to today, how it's helped transform you. Okay. Well, this will be my first public announcement then. Um, when we started, we chose Level Up as a center for our school year starting in August. And then um, I started with the program, I think, in early fall. Um Obviously, the mindset change, um, creating our culture within our facility, that was huge. Um, and it happened fast and it happened easy um, once we had all the tools and put everything into place. That has been a game changer 
Um, and I think due to that, um, just that culture shift alone um, has given us the, uh, I don't even know what word I want to use, <laughs> has given us the desire and the confidence that oh. we are moving and yes. doubling our facility. Yay! Um, signing papers today. Nice. <laughs> um, so we are literally doubling our center um, capacity for the summer. That is awesome. So before you started, you didn't see yourself. Didn't even think nope. Nope. Wow. Things That's just kind of started rolling and it just didn't stop. <laughs> wow, that is so exciting for me to, as your business coach, it's super exciting to know that you're doubling your business because of the work you've done with us. That is amazing. That's awesome. That actually makes me want to cry a little. <laughs> I mean, that's why I'm here. This is my whole goal is to help you guys. I know when I started with my coach, I was ready to quit. I was done. I literally said to her, my first meeting with her, just help me get my business in line so I can sell it and my family doesn't lose everything. And when I was able to do the work and I fell in love with my center again, that's what really motivated me to just try and help others where, you know, we, we have those blinders on. And, and when you get those blinders taken off, now suddenly the sky is the limit. You know, Tiffany, you might have 10 more in the next 10 years. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Never know. <laughs> you never know, right? So um, I know all of you really shared our journey, that journey with us. But I love that you said uh, that it happened pretty quickly. Yes. And a lot of that is the intentionality. We don't even realize that we, every center has a culture, but we don't even realize what it is until we to intentionally start looking at it. Uh, and then once we intentionally start looking at it, then we can do things to start controlling it. And that is one of the first changes that occurs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know Tiffany can do it. Um, we started in June, like I said earlier, we started in June and they talked me into um, expanding and I wasn't there. I was like, I can't do this because it was just me. You know, I'm thinking I'm working 50 hours now. It's going to be a 80 to 100. But we expanded. So from us joining the joining you in June to January, just those what six months we did, it, we went from 34 to 66 children. Wow. We doubled our, we were, had six teachers. Now we have 14 teachers and there's no way I could have thought about doing that before putting it, the systems in place that you taught us, the, all the procedures and the policies and you invented it all. I didn't even have to reinvent the wheel. Yep. So when you're a member, there's galore, so much stuff that you've already done the work and we just have to make it our own. And it, yeah. it was so simple. Just like Tiffany said, it's been easy very easy on top of expansion you went from working 50 hours a week to 10 right and that's one of my big passions is freeing owners we don't have to be married to our child care centers mm -hmm. my husband back i think it was in 2012 my husband said something that really hit hard he told me that he felt like i was married to my center and he was i was how did he it was so funny the way he said it but basically he said i've married to my center and i'm your mister you know i said mistress <laughs> mistress but it was like an eye opener for me and that I was like, oh, am I really with my center that much that you feel like you're my side, you know, like, mm -hmm. so, but that's something I just want to free owners from I, and, and directors, they don't understand. It doesn't have to be that way. It's a lack of systems, policies, and trusting your staff. That's it. But when you let go of that control you lean into the trusting, you create those healthy policies and procedures, you can get your life back. It yes. is possible. Yes. And I think like Shalyn touched on and even Evelyn touched on just now with the policies and procedures, one thing that sets this program apart from other programs is the accessibility to those things that are already have been produced and placed and you can just customize them and make them your own. I think most of us directors struggle with time management. And so this is huge because it's already pretty much done for you. You just have to customize it to your facility. Um, and most programs don't offer that. That's not something that most offer give away. And so that's what sets you apart, Evelyn, is just the 
um, drive that you have to truly change all centers and that just with this membership, the access to, I mean, unlimited, unlimited information through you, through the program, through the things that you have, you know, the guides that we have access to and to the other directors, it's just unlimited. It's limitless. Yeah. And I'm so used to create, I'm a creator. It's what I do. Every time something happened, Brandy would, she actually uh, sent me a t-shirt, like a, an image of a t-shirt. like, we need a policy for that because I write, I can write a policy in two minutes. Like I know I got a message Pam, uh, from Pam today, Tiffany, that you need a letter. I'm like, oh, it'll take me a minute. I'll write one. And like, I can just, I can spit that. I'm so conditioned to it that, um, and, I'm, and my mind is where it needs, like because of my psychology background, I understand how people think, right? So my first thought when I get things like what I got today from Pam for you is uh, Pam, Tiffany needs a letter on moving into a new facility. Well, my first thought is, okay, where are the parents' minds going to be at, right? How do we address the psychological issue first? Because emotions are what you need to deal with first and foremost, right? right. And that's what I'm doing with you guys. We're, I'm trying to bring your emotions down first so we can get you out of the emotional caveman brain and into the logical brain, right? right. And that's what we need to do when you present information to your families. It's the same thing. It's just come from a place of, okay, what are they going to be thinking? Let's get ahead of that. Let's control those thoughts. Let's get to everything is a good leveling up moment, right? So um, that's basically, yeah, I, even if I don't have a policy, I can whip them out so quickly. <laughs> so, do any of you guys have anything to add to at this time? Well, the other thing I would say is that the other team members um, from the group, they can also help in specific things you need. Like if you need legal advice of finance, curriculum. I've been working with, with my, uh, how do you say the word? My concierge. I can't pronounce that word very well, but, but yeah, Moria has been helping me so much on the curriculum part to create what I want and what we've been working on my vision of, of what I want to achieve with my center. And we've been even weekly and she's been awesome. With that. I we get anywhere else. Yeah. <laughs> And like all that that expertise it's it's unbelievable. yeah and that's something i'm not the only master coach in the program that's the thing we have master coaches that specialize in specific things like moira is our curriculum our, she is our resident teacher she has her degree in early childhood education she's been a teacher for years so she helps with curriculum development um and, and sometimes, like, one of the great things about having Moira's is having that teacher's voice in the room so we know where they're coming from, right? Um, we've got Prina Richards, who's our classroom management behavior specialist. We have uh, Becca Polly, who is our new financial advisor, who is amazing, amazing. I know, um, Shailen, did you, you're going to be working with her, right? Yes, so ma'am. She, like, I sat down with her already, was just blow, blown away by how amazing she is. Um, and then we have Karen Brown who works with multiple centers and she's faith-based. Um, she works with like church-based programs plus multiple. She knows she's a, a regional director. And then we have my director, Brandy, so who helps directors. We do help train directors. So there's so much we have to offer. It's not, I, I always kind of look back and everybody always wants to work with me. And I think to myself, I'm in the room with so many brilliant women that it's not just me, right? There's just so many other people who can add to this. But um, it's always interesting that they're like, well, I wanna work with you. I'm like, yeah, but this person is amazing too. There's so much of us. Right. So do you guys have any final thoughts? Just appreciation, loads and loads of appreciation. Well, thank yes. you. And I think all three of you are going to be at my summit, huh? Yes. Yeah. Wait. Cannot wait. Yeah. Be nice to give you guys hugs in person. <laughs> you guys in person. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I just want to say thank you too so much for like I have my life back, my sanity. I hadn't had in thirty years, really. So thank yes. you. 
And that's what really sets our program apart as well, uh, is that it's not just the business coaching. I, I am a certified life coach. I do have my degrees in psychology. I have a lot. Um, I really try to blend that because you guys can have the most successful child care center in the world, but if your quality of life isn't there and you're not giving your time to your family and what's important, then what good is it? It doesn't mean anything. So that's why bringing all of it together is so important to me. And I know that I'm not just changing your businesses, but your quality of life. I'm just as, out really trying to improve the whole picture. Well, thank you, ladies. I will let you guys go and continue on your day. Thank you so much for taking the time out. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> Bye. 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 I hope that was helpful for everybody. And again, we are running a sale right now. Right now, our monthly uh, membership price is $4.97 a month. That will be going up as we increase all of the things that we have to offer. We really do um, appreciate our people. We work together, as you can see from these three members, and we talked to Tara last week. There's so much that we can do together. And there's so much more than just the business coaching. There's that psychological piece, which is key. Like Shaylin was saying, it's just that changing your life, getting your life back. You are worth it. And $497 a month is a very small price to pay for your sanity, right? It is a very small price to pay to get your life back and you are worth it. So get with your concierge, let them know that you are ready to start. We are ready to get you into office hours tomorrow. We will be meeting tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific time for office hours. So if you get signed up tonight, you can get in. If you don't have a concierge, let us know. I'm in. I'm ready in the comments so we can get you connected. Every single one of my members has an advisor that will guide you through my program. They are there just to help you to make sure that they send you in the correct direction. So just remember, what do you have to lose, right? Is what you're doing working as it is? Do you really want to stay stuck where you are today? Is that what you want your life to look like? If it's not, then take the dive. $497 is nothing compared to getting your life back and getting your peace of mind. So really ask yourself, is it worth living this way? And remind yourself that you are worth it. You started in ECE because you have a dream, right? You have this dream. Your dream is still there and alive. Your mission is still there. You just need the guidance and a little bit of tweaking to make it work for you. So just remind yourself, look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself, I'm worth it. I am worth leveling up and continuing on with my dream and being the change and being a part of this revolution. And you are capable. So I hope everybody has a great rest of your day. Next time I see you guys, if you're not in my membership, will be our Zoom meeting tomorrow evening at 5 p.m. Pacific time. I will be on Zoom. You guys can join us. I will answer your questions. And um, we can just really work together. And you guys get experience what our office hours is like. Have a great rest of your day, everybody. <laughs>